Do any vaccines on the childhood vaccine schedule contain human albumin? Oh, yes. And what is human albumin? Human albumin is part of human serum. And what is human serum? What is, what is human serum? Human serum is part of the blood that is liquid. Right. It's the non-red blood cell part of the, of the yes. blood, right? Uh, from where was it obtained? The human serum? Yes. Well, that is, would be variable uh, from donors um, uh, who are healthy do donors. Uh, that's all, all, I, all I could say to that. How is it used in the manufacturing process? I'm sorry? How is it used in the manufacturing process? Well, uh, serum is used to keep cells healthy uh, during the uh, process of making a vaccine. So in other words, uh, since the uh, vaccines or some vaccines have to be grown <laughs> um, in, um, in cells, you have to keep the cells in a, in a, in a good state. So the cells that are used, the the virus or bacteria, the virus is used in some of the vaccines. Sorry. sorry, the virus is used in some of the vaccines are grown in this human blood component. Well, yes, um, I, um, I I believe that the uh, serum is removed uh, in the final product, but um, certainly. Uh, it's important to keep the cells healthy during the manufacture of the vaccine. Do you think that, so, so none of it remains in the final product? I don't believe so, no. Because yeah, that could be problematic, right? Well, it could be. I mean, if, uh, if the uh, individual is not, not healthy. Um, right, or, or if maybe some of the, you know, uh, human blood components bind to some of the aluminum and develop antibodies, self-antibodies, correct? If they develop antibodies against a serum component, that would not be good. Right. Um, what, do any vaccines contain human material uh, in them that, I'm sorry, strike that, apologies. Uh, do any vaccines on the childhood vaccine schedule contain recombinant human al albumin? Yes. Okay, what is this? Sorry. What, what is recombinant human albumin? It's main. It's albumin. Sorry. Uh, recombinant human albumin. That's a a l b u m i n. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, a component of human serum, which is uh, useful to stabilize uh, cells and keep them healthy, uh, and it's made. Um, uh, by genetic engineering. Okay, so it's genetically engineered human serum, basically. A part of human serum, yes. Uh, is that, are these genetically engineered protein structures? Yes, and the idea was to eliminate any possibility of a contaminant from uh, human albumin uh, obtained from donors. So it's made in, uh, in cells uh, uh, using the, the, uh, the DNA for albumin, uh, and that way one can be sure that there's no contaminant. And again, you pretty much want to make sure that none of that remained in the final product too, right? Um, well, human albumin is probably not much of a problem in terms of, of causing reactions. So, But in terms of it potentially binding to the alum, that could be problematic, correct? Well, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I, okay. The vaccines that contain human material in them, they also contain human DNA and protein, correct? They may, yes. Okay. 
Uh, isn't it true that human DNA in vaccines is typically purposely fragmented to below 500 base pairs in length? Yes, and one doesn't, you know, I, I would say mostly um, for theoretical reasons, doesn't want to uh, put uh, DNA uh, into, uh, attack DNA uh, into vaccines. Okay. Um, I think the, the actual risk is zero, but uh, that's my opinion. Uh, isn't it true that MMR2 contains approximately 150 nanograms cell substrate, double-strand DNA, and single-strand DNA per dose, purposely fragmented to approximately 215 yeah. base pairs in length? Yeah, that's probably correct, yes. Okay. Uh, and is it true that Varivax, vaccine for chickenpox, is manufactured using WI38 and MRC5? It yes. contains approximately two micrograms of cell substrate, no problem, and contains yes. and contains approximately two micrograms of cell substrate, double stranded DNA, or approximately one trillion fragments of human DNA. It may, it may be true. Uh, isn't it true that Havrix, a hepatitis A vaccine? also contains millions of fragments of human DNA? Likely. Do you know whether strands of DNA below 500 base pairs are now known to insert themselves into living cells with which they come into contact? Uh, I do not have that information, but the likelihood that they would uh, be genetically included in the genome of vaccinees, in my view, is zero. Do you have a study to support that view? Uh, I do not have a study that supports that view, but it is, uh, to me, unlikely that the DNA would travel from the site of injection to the semen or the, uh, the ovaries. Could it insert itself into DNA, and it, even in the, in the muscle tissue, or it if it gets into the blood, into... Theoretically, but that's not going to mean that it's going to have any impact on the individual. Are you familiar with the... In, were you familiar with insertional mutagenesis? Yes. Okay. Do you have any study to show that injecting millions of pieces of human DNA into babies and children is safe? The only studies are all the safety studies that have been done on vaccines. Okay. And you can produce those studies, right? Well, those studies are uh, available from the manufacturers and, uh, and from CDC. And uh, I'm not aware of any data showing that a her heritable characteristic was transmitted by a vaccine. Mm -hmm. So you don't... So you don't personally don't know of any study that shows the safety of injecting human millions of pieces of human DNA into babies? Such studies are general safety studies, and I haven't yet seen a vaccinee uh, develop a new genetic trait as a result of vaccination. It's possible that it can cause cancer? Anything is possible, but there are no data to support that. Is there data to show that it doesn't do that? Yes. Okay. And Observations people... made over millions of vaccinees. Okay. And you have the study to show that, right? The studies are uh, easily available in terms of vaccine safety studies that have been done by many, many people. Excellent. And it should be very easy for you to direct the, to those and, and provide yes, copies. Yes, you can Wonderful. read the chapter on vaccine safety.